There's not a bad pick when it comes to engines, but we'd opt for the V6 and its air suspension in the 2018 Range Rover Velar in some respects. The 2018 Range Rover Land Rover Velar is very similar to the Jaguar F-Pace, with which it shares a structure and powertrains in some respects. The two couldn't be more different like the Jag. The Range Rover is powered by a choice among two turbo 4 engines or a supercharged V6. All of the engines aptly power the Velar, albeit in different ways regardless of engine. The Range Rover shuttles power through a standard 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. It should be noted that all Velars have built-in Land Rover Ness, which is to say, it'll go anywhere chances are it won't, but the engines and transmissions are excellent we give it an 8 for performance anyway most Land Rover Range Rovers will have a supercharged V6 under the hood that makes 380 horsepower and 332 pound-feet it's enough to motivate the Velar up to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, but it doesn't feel that fast. It's a V6 that's most promising attribute is that it's the same size as a V8, the extra two cylinders are actually filled in, and a balance shaft is added, but the V6 isn't particularly refined at full chatter, it doesn't emit good noises, but thankfully the Velar features plenty of sound deadening material and a sublime sound system keeps those at bay. The base gas powered turbo 4 is the second most popular engine and is a relatively good solution, especially considering the V6 carries a $9,500 price premium. The Turbo 4 makes 247 horsepower and 269 pounds FT, and only takes one second longer to sprint up to 60 mph it commits one of the same sense as the V6, the Turbo 4 doesn't sound all that confident at full throat highway passing maneuvers will take pre-planning, and a few clicks down on the paddle shifters, to execute according to Range Rover, 1 in 10 buyers will opt for the available turbo diesel and it's hard to argue against conventional wisdom at just $1,500 over a comparably equipped turbo. Minus 4, the turbo diesel is relatively modestly priced, but its value is only found in long highway jaunts. Off-road fans may appreciate the diesel's 317 pounds FT of pull low in the rear range, but not many off-road fans will consider a Range Rover with 20-inch wheels anyway the standard 8-speed automatic is a willing, and whisper quiet, assistant to all engine in all applications, it blends into the background without much to talk about, only a little hesitation to kick down requisite gears in the Turbo 4 to pull off a highway pass paddle shifters help the base suspension setup is a double wishbone up front and integral rear link combination at the rear. Turbo 4, gas or diesel, models do without adjustable suspension this year, V6 versions get an air-adjustable setup that can raise or lower the Vila 3 inches, up to a total of 9.9 .9 inches for ground clearance with the V6 and up to 22-inch wheels at each corner, the adjustable setup is mandatory the Vila's different off-road hardware compared to the Jaguar F-Pace, including much longer will travel, keeps the Vila's corners busy, sometimes to the detriment of passengers.